All right. So we found this uh, hacienda here, this old Henneken farm. This massive hacienda. It says there's a restaurant in the other part where we just had lunch, and this part seems to just be sad, like as a showroom, pretty much, just left. So we have the Henneken machines here. Look at this phenomenal, phenomenal machinery. It's basically abandoned, left as it was back in the day. Here we go, like these massive belts. So what they used to do here in uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, they would plant, which is new knowledge to me as well. They would plant these, uh, the agave, uh, what do you call them, plants, cactus, what do you call them? Cactus or whatever. And they would extrapolate uh, textile out of that to make shirts and uh, clothing, shorts, pants, shirts, so on and so forth, sandals, all that. So here we basically see how the operation went on back in the days. So you had these obviously like the, the tracks here where you have the cars here coming through to bring in I imagine this, so this would be full this cart here will be full of uh, old agave plants the train tracks comes from over there comes around and then we have another cart here and there is the hacienda the other part over there in the background and then we have those uh, machines up there on top, but, um, I think this one over here looks like something where they're pressing, like as if they were pressing machinery through there. Yeah, you can kind of see that in the middle there. It's kind of like a press, right? To extrapolate and I imagine to like squeeze out all the juice. Look at these engines as well. These old school, I love this old school machinery, this old school engines and stuff. They are absolutely phenomenal. Just twist these, just give it one of these, one of that. Get this show back on the road. Manufacturing company from Milwaukee. That is. Wisconsin, it says, US, 1914. So over a hundred years old, this machinery. Wow. They surely were messing about back in the day, eh? This is a leaf from the agave plant, right? As we have down here on the floor. And then I guess the guy would basically go and as you can see it's been demonstrated here then you get then you get the the strings here which they would then take over and put over here on the card and dry them and you get rope out of this from which you can make uh, as I said clothing you can weave little hats like this one here, like this one, what do you say, is it my style? <laughs> and you can see here as well, sandals, beautiful sandals, beautiful handicraft, like old school handicraft, proper class style, you know, it's not messing about. And then over here, oops. Viva Mexico! And then over here we have all the wrenches, all the tools hanging for your scissors up there, 
wrenches, massive ass cartridges or wheels here. It's wheels to, to turn the machinery basically back in the day. This one for the fields to, to mow the lawn, or not to mow the lawns, but to keep the, the soil fermented. And here you see the, the cartridges. So I guess basically, you would either, so you would tie the cow with this around here, basically you make rope around here, tie the cow here, and basically he would pull this cart all the way through into around the fields, around everywhere. So here is the Nagave plant. You know, it's so basically these could be used for so much. They're making tequila, they make uh, tequila, mezcal, they make the henneken for the clothing, for the, um, for the clothing, and yeah, the hats, the shoes, rope. It's such a useful little plant. But obviously, mezcal and tequila by far the best use of that plant isn't it back in the day these guys were certainly not messing about eh they were proper handy handicraft guys they could build anything imagine extrapolating all that from such a simple little plant as the agave plant beautiful absolutely beautiful just reminds you of how much luxury we have today not using all these tools carrying stuff making rope out of these plants not using all these massive tools wrenches and scissors having to carry everything around on on our shoulders today just get in the car open a website order something it pops up at your door this is proper old school hand stuff it's beautiful memories to just, well, reminders to just have every now and then. But yeah, with that said, I'll end this little short video, this little short exploration of this abandoned, semi-abandoned uh, hacienda here. And put on our little Viva Mexico hat say thanks for watching hit the like button click the subscribe bell and i'll see you when i see you viva mexico